Welcome to Job Seeker Quick Tips, four quick tips focusing on job seekers who were previously incarcerated. Brought to you by the Department of Labor and Industry and Job Service Montana. I'm Karen. Let's begin with job search tips. Your first tip is to create a plan. Prepare. Your job search plan should include learning computer skills if needed, gathering information to complete job applications, and scheduling time to apply for jobs. Identify your skills. Employers need hardworking people who will be on time, dependable, and have a great attitude. And create a letter of explanation to address your criminal history when asked. Check out our pamphlet on addressing criminal history. It's called Your Future's Waiting. Start by thanking the employer for their consideration and for reading the letter. Acknowledge and address their concerns. Factually describe the offense and dates. Share the positive changes, therapy, and or treatment that you've undergone to address behaviors. Mention skills that you've gained during your incarceration as well as those that you had before. Offer to answer any questions that they might have in an interview and mention items that can help them. The federal bonding program and the work opportunity tax credit can save an employer thousands of dollars. This sample letter comes from Georgia Justice Project. Feel free to pause the video to read the letter. And tips for resume and job application. Focus on your skills. You've likely learned a lot while incarcerated. Conflict resolution, decision making, and problem solving. Use a functional or combination resume to bring the focus to your skills and abilities and leave the experience and dates at the bottom out of the way. Use the skills that you've earned and your job placements while incarcerated as you would a job. List the position and use the state itself or the contract company in charge or the prison itself as the employer. On a job application, never on a resume. If asked about wage, enter minimum wage. If asked reason for leaving, don't say released or paroled. Say relocated or contract ended. Here's a sample resume for someone re-entering the workforce after a stay at Pine Hills using a functional format for a resume. Feel free to pause to check it out. It's best to wait to address your criminal history in person at an interview. The cover letter complements a resume to introduce yourself in a personal way and describe how you're the best fit for the job. Best not to mention your criminal record in a cover letter at all. Better to write a letter of explanation for that. But if you're not offered an opportunity, you might find it helpful to add one paragraph explaining it much like we did in the letter of explanation. This comes straight from DLI's Career Guide and provides a good starting spot for writing a basic cover letter. If you choose to mention your criminal history, you might add a sentence or two in the second paragraph. Something like, although I do have a criminal conviction for a felony DUI, I'm part of a 12-step program and I'm committed to turning my life around. This conviction is inconsequential as a janitor, for which I'm highly qualified. I have a current driver's license and reliable transportation to and from work. As far as the interview is concerned, think about the way that you look, act, talk, and behave. They'll be judging you from the minute that you walk in the door. Dress professionally, one step above how you expect them to dress. Less is more as far as jewelry, tattoos, and scents are concerned. Your body language is important. You'll look more confident if you maintain good, post good posture and make eye contact. Communication is the top soft skill, so talk slow enough and loud enough to be heard. And they'll be judging your behavior based on the way that you answer interview questions. Try to use those answering with the STAR method whenever possible. Describe the situation, the task at hand, the actions, and the results. Landing an interview was the goal. Whether asked about your criminal record or not, now's the time to bring it up. Honesty is the best policy. So write a script using the same basic technique as you did with the letter of explanation. Write it out and memorize it. The more confident that you can be as you tell your story, the better. Thank them for asking, acknowledge their concerns, describe the offense, share positive changes that you've made, skills and work experience that you have to offer. Do not include personal details or drama. Don't place blame. And you don't want to lead the conversation or end the conversation with this talk. So try to bring it up somewhere in the middle. I hope this information has been helpful. Tune in to Job Seeker Central for detailed information on each topic. Do you have more questions? Contact your local job service office to work one-on-one -on -one with a workforce consultant at no cost. 
Good luck with your job search.